Hi Scorpios and welcome to your March 2020 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to talk about your energies coming up in the month of March. I think that this is, um, oh my gosh, the energy is really big for you guys this month. It's really there, it's really present, it's not really an ambiguous energy either. There's something really direct, really sharp, and really um, clear. I feel coming forward for you guys. Um, I have been feeling your energy really strongly. I mean, of course, I'm a Scorpio as well, so I'm I'm in first person with it. I'm, I'm seeing uh, these energies um, as I walk through my own path as well. And I know that there's been a lot of, um, you know, I, I think unsureness and duplicity in your life lately and or in the lives of many Scorpios. There's been a lot of um, duality. You know, we've been in Pisces season. We've had Mercury retrograde in Pisces. And um, as a Scorpio, it really hits on your psychology, your emotions, um, and depending on what house that's transiting, it really shows you the distinct sides to every main strand of your life, every big goal or every big part of your life, every um, important aspect of you is seen in totality, okay, coming out of February and moving into March. And with that totality that you are um, seeing and taking in about yourself and about where you've come, how far you've come, how long you've devoted yourself to certain things, there's a bit of a fear and there's a bit of um, a bit of a psychologically thrilling experience, really, of um, seeing how something so good um, really can be dangerous, or seeing how something so horrible, or so difficult, or so worrisome was the greatest opportunity. You know, these sort of dualistic, duality-based um, psych psychological coping mechanisms really are coming straight front and center for you to work through that and come out of that. So old themes of self-conviction, old themes of fear, you know, self-fear-mongering, being really afraid of things that we don't need to be afraid of, um, being afraid of the power of others, being afraid of the influence that others will exert over you, um, being afraid of being a target, you know, um, to the emotional decisions of other people. All of these things are front and center this month. You know, it's not so physical, I've got to tell you guys. Um, any type of danger, any type of um, instinctual response, I'm not feeling a lot of physical trials for you guys, if I can be honest. I'm not feeling a lot of... Um, money problems, you know, appearance problems, health problems, um, you know, physical health problems. I'm feeling that everything that you're going through here is a psychological experience and everything that you're going through here is really a demand to um, get you to a better area of like uh, how you work every day or how you cope or how you just move through your mundane everyday life. Um, that is really the focus here, because I feel that maybe for the last few years, there's been a daily ominous or fearful potential. Okay, what if I don't meet that goal? What if I don't make that money? What if I don't fix this or fix that or change this? Like, what if I don't? Um, it feels like you've really been operating off of what if I don't, you know? And that has to change here. Okay, um, you guys have the devil and the ten of swords reversed. I'll talk about those when we get there, but um, it's old now. These old fears, these old demands, these old um, these old demands on yourself, those have to be pulled out, those have to fall out, those have to subside now. And as with everyone, there's a big need for release, okay? Um, and I mentioned for a lot of the other signs, if you guys saw the Pisces video for March, which you should watch because it resonates for everyone since it's Pisces season, um, there is something bigger than us that we're working on here. There is something greater than individuality uh, for a little bit of time here. So yeah, I'm talking about like deity, um, source, universe, God, whatever that is for you, there is a bigger picture coming in. And I feel that some of you are at odds with that, or some of you might think, okay, I have this religion, or I have this, um, these uh, morals, or this moral compass, and maybe what I'm doing doesn't feel completely in alignment with that. Again, this is that dualistic nature coming up, which is a self-sabotaging uh, tendency, okay? Um, so yeah, you do want to maybe try to get more symmetry in your day-to-day -day actions as compared to your larger scale religious beliefs. I mean, that is just something that comes up in a Mercury retrograde in Pisces. If you can find more symmetry there or find more confidence in your 
in what is greater than your like day-to-day -day mundane, um, that will help you to get through any trials that are coming up here. And really just being able to talk about the trials as well, really being able to get them out. So journaling them or talking to close friends or even just talking to yourself is not so bad either just to see how small some of these things might actually be because with a scorpio it's like um it's the small things that are dangerous or it's the small um you know seemingly insignificant problems that pose the the seemingly biggest threat and none of that's really real scorpio i've got to really put that out there for you the physicality is feels very protected and it feels like you know you're gonna have choices you have resources you have luck you have um health and strength all of that is really coming together wonderfully for you, yet there is such a strong tinge of like psychological unsureness or um, fear of betrayal or fear that you're not seeing things clearly, even fear of like implosion or um, like if you if you make a change or if you make a bigger decision, like you won't be able to do it right or you won't, there, there's like um, kind of a blunting of the self really on the inside. There's a blunting and there's like a... Um, maybe even a self-clipping of the wings, so ensuring that you're stuck in the gilded cage or ensuring that you're stuck here just to not fear or not face the fear of falling or face the fear of not flying properly. Um, here is a time where you really have to grow your wings, Scorpio, so let's go ahead and get into the week to week and we'll see more clearly what's coming up for you and try to um, do some healing on these uh, points. Um, also, guys, there will be an extended reading on Patreon if you guys would like to support the channel, as well as get these readings early and ad-free, as well as their extended counterparts. I'll link that below and it'll also be at the end of the video. Okay, Scorpios, so week number one of March, strength rooted down by nine of cups. So let's disconnect a little bit from these more difficult things and talk about what really good is happening there. You have um, a great opportunity in the first week of March. Um, something might even kind of come out of come out of the blue blindside you and it's so positive it's so great for those of you who are single it feels like you could um, meet a very spectacular person during that time it also feels like if you've been afraid of people or if people have been exerting some type of like psychic attack on you or you feel really tart again there's a targeting feeling and it's it's not so physical it's very psychological that feels like that might just subside there that might just go away or you might protect yourself better. Also, I feel good contacts during that time, like a door being opened to, you know, the um, the lawyer that you've needed, or the um, the advisor that you've needed, or the like HR person that you've needed. There's like maybe an individual that can come in during that time that can really help you to uh, drop some of these fears. So do keep, uh, it's a good time to socialize in the first week. It's a good time to be out of the house. It's a good time to be meeting people and to, um, uh, you know, be, you know, filling those gaps because I do feel that there's a bit of a void around you. So maybe not a lot of contacts, maybe a lot of friends have sort of dissipated or you've been very solitary. And here in the first week of March, and especially building up toward like the end of the month and moving forward into 2020, you want to kind of start making new connections and start getting more people on your side. Um, but just kind of also affirm to yourself starting in the first week of March that you are lucky and that you are benevolent and that nothing, um, you know, basically surrounding yourself in white light, like not giving your own psychological power to those worst case scenarios or those fears that really has to start in the first week having the strength to not let your mind betray you with like oh my god what if this happens what if these people do that um there's something very political about it i will say that and i don't necessarily even mean like a government so i'm talking like the politics of relationships the politics of you know um maybe your career uh things like that like who who knows who how do I stay on top? There are those stories that came from 2019. You want to kind of start wrapping up here or make that your like initial operating point. So if you're if you're seeing that you're operating like as a politician, for example, in your career or in your family or in your relationships, maybe it's time for a career in politics instead. Um, or if you see like, um, you know, in your career, you're just trying to like find love and friendship, maybe it's time to start dating instead. There's a bit of bleed over, I feel, in Scorpio's energy 
like throughout all the sectors where like you see the politician working in the family household or you see the person who's just like single and hopeless romantic like um you know flirting with everyone in the workplace or something like weird things like that you want to make sure that you're appropriately putting out your your energy so if you need if you want to flirt you know go on a date if you want to do politics run for office if you want to like um start the if you want to make a lot of money start a business instead of like dating for example you guys know what i mean it's the pisces time and it gets a little bit like everything is just out there so you want to really direct your efforts into a more concise and polished precise uh spectrum but that uh, direction really hits you during the first week and i feel really clearly scorpios that you um see in the first week how to start delineating your energy okay and it's maybe not going to happen right then but because you, you've got some other things to deal with on the oncoming month of march and you don't really want to you know start going crazy on like this one goal or this one project because you've not quite shed everything yet but you want to throughout the month of march um we'll we'll talk more about that in the second week scorpios you have the seven of cups reversed through to down by the chariot so um yeah i i like that that tells to me that you're gonna have progress with um you know seeing things for what they're not so seven of cups was a super prolific card for you throughout the entire year of 2019 you know there was a lot of maybe like uh, i'm just gonna say it like grandstanding or strong egoic connection to what the future could represent without necessarily stepping onto that path uh future tripping past tripping things like that um, you're gonna that's gonna stop appealing to you really quickly in the second week of Mar March. You might even like look back at old journals um, as it is a really good time for reflection. Um, and you might even notice that if you've been doing that lately or if you've been you know reflecting or thinking about the past that it's just not really appealing anymore. Um, Scorpio can kind of fluctuate through cycles of like being very past obsessed and then very like, you know, um, spiteful toward the past, and it goes like back and forth. Um, basically, you want to make your final amends there, maybe, um, and start to move on. The chariot rooting it down says that there's like an opportunity waiting for you. Again, again, more opportunity, more possibilities um, outside of your head, outside of your timeline, okay? Um, so it's important to get on board, and it's important to uh, start getting things into effect. So we're still in Mercury retrograde energy during the second week of March, but um, I think that you guys have a green light to, um, you know, work on the, you know, X, Y, Z. Um, you guys don't have to be afraid of that energy in um, getting things together and getting things finalized. Um, because again, what, what you're dealing with also, and this is maybe what I want to point out the most for Scorpio energy in March, is... Um, you know, fear of your own potency, fear of messing up, fear of making errors, and I just don't really feel that that's actually true, or that, that that's actually very physical right now. I mean, of course, everybody, you know, um, has mistakes in their life, everybody, nobody does things perfectly, but um, I sense a bit of, I'm gonna just gonna put it out there, like a bit of a paranoia, honestly. Seven of Cups and Ten of Swords together can be a bit of a paranoia, um, so we want to, with the devil too, it's like an indulgent type of paranoia, um, and it's not so real. So I just really do encourage you guys to, you know, cross your T's, dot your I's, get the second opinions, you know, if you're going to doctors or if you're, you know, signing papers or doing contracts, whatever it is that you're doing this month, get the second opinion, ask other people about it, and then trust that you have the, like, capability to do these things, okay? Because um, also in the second week of March, maybe the weather is getting warmer or um, there's a good ability to like start exercising more or being more athletic too. I feel like you guys have got to purge out some of these, this old energy. Um, so sweating is good. Exercising is good. Massage is good. Um, try to start focusing your health. So, so you guys kind of went through like 2018 and 2019 with like a phase one of working on your health. Maybe there was a bit of an emergency zone there. And now that you're starting to hopefully get better, this won't resonate for everyone because um, everybody's at a different place here, but try to kind of step into the next phase. Try to kind of now start to let it shine on the outside. You know, I do feel that Scorpio becomes more attractive and becomes more... Um, connected to what their embodiment is because as we get toward aries time you know that's like the true energy of embodiment that's the true energy of loving our body um focusing on our body and letting it be healthy and letting it thrive so you guys kind of want to get on that bandwagon there and then the equinox happens third week of march uh the devil rooted down by ten of swords reversed perhaps one of the most um mm, 
it's an important week for you guys, okay? Because here is kind of where, I think in the beginning of January, you guys had the upright uh, Ten of Swords. If I remember correctly, I might not be remembering correctly. But here's what I'm thinking. It's like, I feel, I very much felt like Ten of Swords energy for you guys throughout the entire, like, November, uh, December, early December to, like, now. And it's interesting that it's coming up reversed in the third week of March. It's almost like undoing what the Ten of Swords might have represented to you before. So it's like a fear that you had. It just staves off. It just dissipates um, through your own smart, intelligent decisions, okay? Um, the Devil Upright connected to Ten of Swords Reverse says to me that any trials or tribulations that you're going through right now um, are not for no reason. They're not just for other people to like victimize you or or to make you afraid. It really is to focus um, perhaps a cycle of these fears or a cycle of like being a cycle of fear towards being reprimanded or towards having messed up or towards having made a mistake. I will say there's something in Scorpio's energy that's like really terrified to make mistakes or really terrified to um, to to live and learn and things like that. So you're like, instead of living and learning, you're just stagnating and halting progress. And that's not for everyone, but um, for those of you that that resonates, here's the third week of March and here's where that has to change. And you just really have to break those shackles. The Devil Upright is like going to show you really clearly how this has um, been psychological, how this has been addictive, or how there's been a, something for a long time behind this. And some, some of us, I think, have to clean up our lives in the third week of March, too. Maybe the things have gotten a little bit messy and the first week of March will show you how clean things can be and how things, you know, might be able to really um, become more fearless. But then the third week of March shows you, okay, we had years and years of, like, poor diet or years and years of um, of spiteful or wrathful experience, experiences, years and years of, you know... Um, you know, seven deadly sins, those types of things coming up in the third week. Um, so do some of us have to atone for that, perhaps? Um, but also, it's like um, pretty psychological more so than it is um, physical consequences. But I, I can't, again, that just depends on the person. I think that what Scorpio is faced with in the third week of March, though, is to really just clean things up a little bit, okay? Um, clean things up a little bit, and, and you'll be fine. Purification, right? Because um, you're moving into the fourth week with three of pentacles reversed, rooted down by rooted down by the lovers. Um, so, yeah, so sudden decision comes right at, in the fourth week of March. Um, you'll see with three of pentacles reversed, again, these old friends or these old relationships or these things that have been, these people that have been orbiting around you for a long time, that is um, not how you can make your decisions, basically. Um, I, it's almost like some of you are deferring to these people who you don't see regularly around you, who you don't really like that much in these big decisions of your life. You're really like, okay, what should I do? And you're really listening to them, really taking it to heart. Um, I would avoid it. You know, Three of Pentacles is about teamwork. It's about um, collaboration and, yeah, advice, things like that. Um, but it's reversed. So it says bad advice is a potential for the fourth week of March, um, specifically from, like, coworkers, like, people, acquaintances, people who are on your level, not so much from, like, professionals or from people who have a certain, like, um, so, for example, like, I wouldn't think that a doctor or lawyer advice would be bad, but I would maybe think that, like, a friend or a family member or someone like that's advice could perhaps not be the best. Um, you got to really be consulting the appropriate people. Again, so, for example, and this ties back into some of the original points, consulting the friend for the lawyer advice, consulting the family member for the doctor's advice, um, consulting the doctor for the family advice, um, you know, being the politician in the family household, all of these things that this like bleed off this ex this eccentrism, okay? Um, Scorpio, you know, we had Jupiter and Scorpio, then Sag, now in Capricorn. Jupiter and Scorpio and Sag, twenty eighteen to twenty late twenty nineteen. Um, that's a time of building eccentricity and a time of yeah, like being being all the roles and wearing all the hats. But we've got to kind of refine it a little bit and make sure that we're getting the right roles in our life. So. Going to the doctor if there's a health problem, <laughs> going to the lawyer if there's a legal problem, going to the family member if there's a family problem, you know, really lining it all up, making it all congruent is a big mission this month, okay, guys? 
Um, and that's just an important thing to take away here. Um, going to the self for self-advice. That's a great one too. Not going to, you know, that person for advice about you. Okay. Um, so line up the dots. It's kind of like re a, re a month of re-coordination really. And as I said, with the third week, there's an undoing too. So maybe it's kind of like an undo button here too. You can maybe undo something that's not been right for a long time or sort of revert back or revert for, or, um, convert, I guess, convert forward <laughs> into, um, something new, but I've loved this reading for you guys, Scorpios. I, it's really resonated for me too. I'm happy that the messages came up the way that they did. Um, just really try to line up the dots and really um, trust in the associations that you do have though when they're used appropriately, right? So appropriate associations. Um, as a Scorpio, you probably have so many people behind you, so many people backing you. Anybody who really tries to oppose you right now is um, making some kind of mistake to a degree, but it, it can be a process to really figure that all out. So um, try to not fight battles, though. I would say that too. Try to just keep things... Mm, status quo. Is real status quo is good for you guys with all the Capricorn energy, sextile energy for Scorpio. It's not the time to like go crazy and break with the mold. And that can be hard for a Scorpio to hear right now because there is a desire to break with the mold. I get that. And, and you can do it in ways that have meant to happen for a long time, as long as there is an element of time involved with it. But um, to a degree, Scorpios are a little bit um, locked into place too, which is not a bad thing. Try to find stability and security with it, okay? Because uh, that's what you wanted for so long. You have to remember that. Um, or that's what a lot of Scorpios wanted for so long was stability and security, you know, not... Um, you know, the time to like really shine bright and go big has kind of passed, but also you can build things to be really high too. So no self-deprecating or self-constricting dialogues are good, but it is nice to accept also where we've come, <laughs> okay? Um, so anyway, Scorpios, we can jump over to Patreon now for the extended reading. I'm going to talk about the central theme of this reading as well as get the supporting factors, so we've still got quite a bit to go in this spread. If you would like to check it out, that will be linked below, and it should pop up on the screen now in the center to click over to there. Um, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and the like button, and comment below. Let me know how it resonated for you. I'm so looking forward to giving the extended on Patreon now. Let's jump over. I'll talk to y'all later. Much love.